All right, Anthony and Clarissa again. Now we're gonna learn to turn. So this is gonna be your first introduction to two-step turning. This is where everybody enjoys, starts really enjoying two steps, usually people's favorite part. So here's what we've done so far. In lesson one, we did the basic step in closed position. Lesson two, we did the basic step in promenade position. From here, we're gonna learn to do a basic inside left turn. Now, there are a couple things I've gotta talk about before we can do that. Um, Two-step for the ladies has three assumptions. And an assumption is something that you assume is going to happen. Like, um, and you're gonna do this by default in the absence of him leading you to do something else. So there's really three of these things. Um, the first one is you go down the line of dance. So like if where you're moving backwards or you're moving forward or you're turning you continually, you're moving down the line of dance. So that's something he doesn't have to lead you. He's not like constantly pushing you in that direction and tell you to keep going. The second assumption is the rhythm of quick, quick, slow. So this is what you're gonna do by default. It's not, and you're gonna find out later on in videos, it's not the only rhythm, right? So, but it is the assumed rhythm. It's what you do by default. It's something he doesn't have to lead. If you're gonna do something other than quick, quick, slow, slow, he has to lead you to do that. And the third assumption of two-step is that when you turn, you assume you're gonna turn one and a half times. So what that's gonna mean for Clarissa here is that if we're moving along, she is facing forward down the line of dance. If she turned one and a half times, now keep in mind, three assumptions, she's gotta move, she's gotta do quick, quick, slow, slow, and she has to turn one and a half times. If she's facing forward, she would turn one and a half and end up facing backwards. Now, so whichever wall, ladies, that you start facing, you will finish the turn by assumption facing the opposite wall. And again, that doesn't mean that you always do that. That's just what you assume is going to happen in the absence of him telling you to do something else. So if you watch this again, we'll do this really slow. Promenade, we go quick, quick, slow, slow. Then from here, she's gonna turn quick, quick, slow, slow, all right? Now, it looks like here, that the ladies have the harder part in doing this turn. And I'm gonna to have to talk about the leading because learning to lead this for a lot of time, um, most people is actually a little bit more difficult than learning to follow it because we have more to do. Now, in earlier videos, we talked about the alignment. So one alignment is where we're side to side. The other alignment is where we're one partner in front of the other. This pattern starts here. And from there, it finishes in that opposite alignment. And I told you earlier that the leaders are the ones that are responsible for making that change. So first thing we're gonna do before we talk about her footwork is we're gonna talk about the guy's footwork. I want you to kind of zoom in on the feet here and we're gonna go quick, quick, slow, slow. Now when I start that turn, I'm gonna bring my feet together for quick, 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 and then I continue to move for slow, slow. So if you watch my footwork by myself, she is beside me and since she's beside me, I would walk beside her. When she starts to turn, I need her to pass me. And since I need her to pass me, if I go quick, quick, slow, slow, since she's still progressing and I'm just kind of moving in place, that allows her to kind of pass me up. If you watch her footwork through the turn though, she's continually, continually moving. So as she's moving, she's progressing quick, quick, slow, slow. The biggest mistake I'll see uh, from students when they learn this is that he forgets to stop moving. And, and that's gonna look like this. So if you run into this, and if we're moving towards you, if he forgets to stop moving, she can't pass and you're gonna be all like in, in a, the wrong alignment and really, really bunched through that turn. When you're in promenade position, obviously we've got to put some space here. This is kind of the space that she's going to turn into. And I've seen a lot of couples that they get into promenade and they're really, really close. You actually want to have a little bit of space here. So we're going to go quick, quick, slow, slow. And then when I lead her for the term, she has room to move within that space. All right. So if we can get Clarissa to demonstrate just the basic footwork, okay? So what she's going to do is from promenade position, she's going to walk forward for quick, quick, slow, slow, and then she turns one and a half turns for quick, quick, slow, and slow, all right? So the way that I like to explain this, these are called pivot turns. If, if I were moving, like so let's say this room were covered in snow. It's a fresh snow, nobody has ever walked through it, and there's no footprints. If I were to walk in a straight line, I would make footprints in a line, each one, each one equally spaced in front of the other. Now, if I were to back up, go through so those same footprints, and then I wanted to turn, I could go through those same footprints by turning one half of a rotation in between each one, right? So they're constantly progressing. So watch your footwork together one more time. We would go quick, quick, slow, slow, and then she would go, go, 
go and go. Guys, um, at the end of this turn, um, I don't want to try to finish the turn. Now you can, but I don't want you to feel like it's necessary for her to finish this turn and to end up back into dance position. Actually, most of the time when I teach this, I teach them not to. Now you can do that if that's what you wanted to do next. But what I would prefer you to learn for now would be quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, bring the hand down and notice that we've finished completely apart. Because you could do another basic step and over that next basic step, gradually get back into dance position. The only thing I would tell you guys, um, you know, I've taught thousands of beginners over the years and guys will have a tendency of trying to bring her to him. Let me show you what that looks like. Quick, quick, slow, slow. She'll finish the turn and then he feels like he's got to get back. So he's got to pull her back to him. Now, what I've told her that she has to do, she has to constantly move in that direction. So instead of bringing her to you, you bring you to her. And let me show you the difference here. So we're going to go quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. She can comfortably move backwards and I just catch up over the course of the next pattern. That's gonna make that a lot more comfortable and allow her to continue to move. So um, I'll show you the whole thing. And we'll repeat this a few times. So if you learn step one, the basic, step two, the promenade, and step three, now the left turn, it would look like this. Basic, quick, slow, slow, promenade, quick, quick, slow, slow, inside left turn. We can get back into basic, and from that basic, we can go back into promenade and just repeat that over and over and actually that's what i would recommend like at this point uh, before you move on to the right turn make sure that you can do the basic step the promenade and the left turn and kind of cycle that through so that's it for your left turn next lesson is going to be the right turn